Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful Today Update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. A tearful hope runs to Thomas, and Liam goes behind Finn's back to update Steffi today on the bold and the beautiful. Sheila refuses to let Lee provoke her. Hope pleads with Cleric to drop Sheila and Thomas and Liam find common ground. Add Il Giardino, Sheila suppositions Lee pushing her face into her pasta is another accident. Lai says it's a memorial of how disgusting she thinks it's that she's not rotting in a captivity cell. Lee picks a bit of sauce off Sheila's face and razzes, you, the sauce is bitter. Just like you. Sheila eyeballs the set of shanks, sitting hard, at Deacon's place, Hope tells her father he cannot love her while claiming to love Sheila. Loving her is hurting me and the two cannot live at the same time. She tells Cleric that Sheila is poisonous and will destroy the relationship they have. She wants him to put an end to this with her. Cleric promised himself he'd no way fail Hope again if she let him back into her life. Hope challenges, also don't. You do have a choice, Dad. They have come so far, and he shouldn't throw it down on someone like Sheila, who's using him and manipulating him. Hope declares that she's not able of change because she's a sociopath. She's not able of love. She's dangerous, Dad. Cleric tells Hope he and Sheila speak the same language. We'd have always been the outlanders. Hope informs her father that he's made miscalculations, but he's nothing like Sheila. She pleads with him to get himself out of this. Just also, Hollis knocks at the door and tells Cleric they've a situation downward that needs his attention ASAP. Deacon asks Hope not to lose faith in him before he exits. I know what I am doing. I swear. Hope gashes over. Cleric Hope B and B Liam enters Forrester's design office, where Thomas is working. He has a stuffy for Beth to give Hope. Thomas doesn't know where Hope is. Talk turns to Hope's father being in love with Sheila. The two agree it's insane and that it puts everyone at threat. Liam worries. We'll no way be relieved of her. Liam harangues about Finn giving Sheila stopgap by hugging her and calling her mama. She's the kind of person you don't give an inch to, and yet he gives her afar. Thomas agrees with Liam that Finn has handled the situation each wrong. Liam harangues that Steffi has to be separated from her family as a result, and it's killing her. It's killing me too because I want her back. He blurts. Thomas gops, you want my family back. He agrees with Liam that Finn has made miscalculations, but he's still his family's hubby. Liam feels he needs to act like a hubby and keep Sheila down. Thomas mocks, like you acted like a real hubby with hope when you ran down as soon as effects got a little tough. How is he going to cover his family better than Finn? Liam is going to make sure he does. With that, he storms out. Ridge visits Finn at work and declares that Cleric and his mama are happily in love. Finn clarifies that Sheila and Deacon are in love. Lie is his mama. Ridge grunts, whatever. He asks, how important of this have you told Steffi? Finn confesses he hasn't told her about Sheila and Deacon yet. This has been agony for him. Sheila has effectively taken his family from him. What if she doesn't stop until she's taken everything he loves? Finn feels this is all beyond his control. Ridge says that beyond his control or not, he has to tell Steffi. Finn knows she needs to be told, but he doesn't want to scarify her off presently. Ridge says fine, but when it's time, it's his story to tell. In the eatery, Sheila eyes the shanks and says to lie in a measured tone, I can see how frenetic you are and I earn it. So you go ahead and let go on me. But if you suppose I am going to lose it and do commodity gathering or stupid and fall for these attempts of yours to provoke me, you should know by now that I won't fall for the bait. I'm not stupid. Sheila won't do commodity that will land her back in jail. Sheila Lee B and B Cleric walks up and asks what the hell is going on. Sheila says that Lai put her face in the sauce. Lai snips that she doesn't know Deacon veritably well, but he must be crazy to be involved with such a heinous critter as Sheila Carter. Hope enters the design office crying. She tells Thomas that she can't believe her father is doing this. She can't believe he'd anticipate her to accept his relationship with Sheila when she's a monster. Breaking down, Hope cries that he's willing to throw away the relationship and everything they worked to make for her. That's not why she wanted to see Thomas still. I came then to do this. With that, Hope hastes Thomas and pulls him into a passionate clench. 
Finn's irritated when Liam shows up at his office and asks what he's doing there. Liam's surprised he has to ask. You know everyone's going to find out about your mama and cleric, right? Like Hope just told me. He complains that Steffi is no way going to come home. Now that Cleric and Sheila are shacking up, it just makes the situation more dangerous. What did she say when you told her? Taking in Finn's expression, Liam realizes, Oh, oh, she doesn't know about any of this, does she? You didn't tell her. Liam finds it enough unthinkable that Finn doesn't have the good sense to tell Steffi that his psycho mama is hooking up with Deacon Sharp. Whatever happened to the whole, it's your job to cover your family thing. Finn counters that he shouldn't question him or his love for Steffi when he's bounced back and forth between Hope and Steffi more times than he can count. Liam tells him he can try and make it about him, but this is getting worse by the nanosecond. Finn says if Sheila is going to hear to anyone, it's Cleric, who thinks he can control her. Liam says that Deacon is wrong, and so are you. He cannot keep Steffi defended and easily neither can you. Finn equals peril. A nanny calls Finn, who says he'll be there in a nanosecond. He tells Liam he's being discourteous to him and to Steffi. It's a scumbag move. Stay out of my business and stay the hell down for my woman. In the design office, Thomas and Hope's kiss ends and they smile. She thanks him. I demanded that. Thomas says this is what he wants. You then in my arms, because I love you. It's that simple. Hope doesn't know what she feels, but she's thankful for his understanding, and she doesn't want to take advantage of that. Thomas assures her she know it could. She's too awful a person. Hope admits she's still recycling the end of her marriage and her family as she allowed. She knew it. She's been in commodity for so long with someone who wasn't completely committed to her, that having time down from it, she now realizes how exhausting that was. Thomas is sorry that Liam hurt her over and over again. Hope doesn't know if she's going to feel that connection again with another man. Thomas assures her it's okay and he understands. It's fully fine, okay. I get it, and I am then. This is what I want. To be then with you, holding you, loving you. They kiss again. He tells her, I'll always love you. Thomas Hope kiss B and B Finn exits his office and Liam says, squinch it, and pulls out his phone and calls Steffi. He gets her voicemail and tells her he batted whether or not to leave her this communication. He allowed. She might hear it from Finn, but who am I kidding? You are not going to. You earn to come home feeling safe, and with Finn you are not going to have that feeling. Especially considering what I just learned. So Sheila and Deacon are a thing now. They're romantically involved. Finn knows about it and he's keeping it from you. I don't know what differently to tell you. The Joe has been blowing this from day one and I suppose we both know why he's Sheila's son. He's no way going to keep you safe, he's no way going to keep you safe the way that I would. You know I want further than anything for you to come home, but don't come home to him. Come home to me. After decoupling, Liam looks at a print of Steffi and says, We were married formerly. We could do it again.